welcome you at CBONS online seminar. So my name is Lana Vesolova. I'm International Partnership Manager at CBONS. Um, I would say I love putting some uh, perfect data solutions for the companies worldwide in order to make thoughtful market analysis. And today it's a great pleasure to host this seminar, which will be devoted to you know, finding opportunities in terms of the European market space. But this seminar would be absolutely peculiar because uh, we have wonderful experts uh, who will share their point of view in terms of efficient risk analysis. So we'll try to uh, make the bond market screening with the uh, uh, more thoughtful and comprehensive overview of the uh, current markets. So today we'll um, dive into the world of government and corporate bonds in European markets. And let me introduce uh, our amazing speakers who decided to uh, spend this uh, day with you. So, uh, Snežana Popovska, she's the president of uh, CMT Association, uh, also um, the head of trading unit at TTK Banka. Uh, and we also have uh, Alex, uh, Alexei Ilin uh, today uh, with the, uh, the, I would say, 20-year experience uh, international, uh, institutional account director at Exante, which is, uh, gives us a um, very thoughtful risk analysis approach uh, today. So thank you very much for joining. Uh, and uh, today you will try to have a look at uh, the market. So I would say we are already in quarter four. So this year was uh, pretty juicy in terms of bond investments and uh, still is. So finally, um, our investors uh, find very appealing bond market opportunities in terms of European uh, bonds as well as uh, used de denominated bonds. Uh, but this uh, seminar, we decided to focus on this particular trend. So let's make the overview of the markets uh, with the current trends, with the possibilities that uh, you see. Uh, so today I will make uh, some intro what kind of um, the most market uh, opportunities you can find with our bond screener while our uh, speakers um, will share the insights in terms of uh, more thoughtful analysis and uh, I would say more complex approach. Uh, so uh, let me um, uh, start our presentation and uh, Later on, we'll have uh, Snežana and Alexei sharing their views. So let me uh, uh, give you some background also in terms of C1. So uh, we are a data aggregator and we provide very comprehensive uh, coverage in terms of bond analysis. Um, we also cover also some uh, other instruments, but I would say uh, the bonds is the heart of C bonds. So we cover uh, 80, uh, 800,000 bonds. So no matter which country you're fan of, uh, you will be able to uh, get 100% uh, coverage of international bonds, which are, I would say, um, more liquid, more tradable, and more preferable among uh, the, the investors. But domestic markets is also uh, very important, especially for European markets. I believe that would be um, the majority which we'll discuss today. So here we cover also uh, 80,000 stocks, 9,000 ETFs, uh, 50,000 uh, indices, which will give you many sided opinion on the market trends. Um, so uh, among our audience, uh, there are um, different institutions, but I would say the key focus is on family offices, asset management companies, banks, um, and uh, depending on the peculiarity of the market. So for example, in Italy, we have private financial consultants, um, some audit companies, so which make the bond market of views. And of course, we um, support private investors in terms of data solutions. 
Um, our clients are located in um, 80 uh, countries worldwide, but I would say um, the majority of them, we have kind of like um, the key focuses uh, are in Italy, in UK, in Switzerland, in UAE, as uh, our headquarters is here, and in uh, US. Uh, so today I will make some overview of how you can find and how you can uh, basically um, find very interesting bond market opportunities with our different tools. So among our uh, top tools, there are multifunctional bond search uh, with the help of which we'll try to see the most uh, interesting uh, corporate and sovereign bonds, uh, the watch list tool, which allows to stay updated in terms of the markets. Uh, Excel Adin tool, which allows to um, monitor your portfolio in the most efficient way. And of course, there are several ways how you can find uh, the data. So this is a web-based solution. Um, so no need that you can stay remote. So you can lay on the beach and use our mobile app. Uh, and of course, we provide also API data solutions um, in a structured way. Um, so, as you can see, there are several features which uh, will help you to uh, find bonds. So, you will be able to work with our tools in a very convenient way with the possibility to export the data in Excel, visualize um, bonds on the market map, uh, and maybe uh, receive some notifications. Uh, with the watch list, you will be able to get automatic updates in terms of price yield changes, uh, email alerts, and basically uh, see the price yield changes for all your bonds. Um, the Excel Adin uh, tool allows you to create your own files. For example, you can uh, create portfolio in the way you prefer and uh, get prices, yields, and some other information updated via formulas, as well as uh, the mobile app, which uh, probably the easiest way how you can quickly find the information within a few clicks. Um, I wanted to highlight also uh, the way we uh, work, because uh, nowadays, uh, the personal approach really matters in our modern world when you get so many services, uh, you need to feel uh, yourself as a human being <laughs> when you especially need uh, a born data solution. So at first, um, we have a wonderful team and support team who will always study all your activities and main goals is the way we to understand what is, I would say, the key and problem to solve. Uh, we'll introduce you uh, the most relevant tools which will perfectly cover all your needs. You will be able to test our tool uh, within trial access without any commitment. And once you're satisfied and see that uh, this is actually, uh, this tool helps you to find all the data you need within a click without wasting time and surfing internet, We'll be happy to find the best um, subscription solution for you so you could uh, enjoy using it. And more or less um, within all your um, period working with us, you will have full support. Our managers will contact you and provide uh, uh, all the answers, all the webinars uh, in order for you to make the most of our platform. Um, so you see my contact details and uh, the head of our department, Alessandro Lombardo, um, he's responsible, I would say, for all our international development and, of course, as he's Italian, uh, the uh, Italian market, and I deal with um, corporate clients all around the world. But let's start uh, with the uh, particularly practical approach. Uh, and uh, we'll see how uh, we can find bonds according to different parameters. Um, so, 
Uh, you see the Seabonds platform. This is a well, we have different uh, tools, but let's start with our uh, heart of Seabonds. This is a bond screener, which will help you to find bonds according to your particular parameters. As you can see, there are so many filters you can apply according to the yield, rating, duration, uh, maybe some particular date that you would like. The rating for the issue and for the issue, you can see the type of the bonds you you want to follow or you can exclude from your uh, research. You can search according to the minimum settlement amount or the volume of the issue or the price, for example, how it is traded. Uh, and the coupon, uh, whether it is fixed or floating. Um, so let's make uh, the all of you of the sovereign European markets as of now what kind of trends we have. So um, let's put in Euro uh, and with the uh, yield starting from 3% up to uh, well, more or less I would say 8. Um, let's start with the mid duration for 2 and 10 years uh, and the um, uh, rating starting from WB+. Um, so in, this is, I would say, your first step in the market analysis, how you can monitor all the markets depending on your preferences. So we found 294 um, uh, positions. You can export the data in Excel. And now let's uh, visualize the yield map. Basically, that's how um, we see also not Macedonia here at the top. Um, so let's add the benchmark in terms of uh, euro uh, and see where these bonds are corresponding at our scale. You can enlarge the chart and uh, see uh, which bonds in that particular duration that is interesting for you. Um, so let's uh, check also some long-term duration. Today we'll also have the discussion in terms of which um, uh, duration is more interesting as of now. Uh, and uh, on the scale of uh, 10, 30 years, there are also very interesting market opportunities, which I really wanted to share with you today. And I'm thrilled to get your opinion, because uh, some of the bonds uh, have just uh, amazing prices. And now let's uh, start with the uh, corporate. Um, corporate bonds, so you can uh, filter according to your particular industry that you need, uh, that you want. Uh, so let's just uh, put in euro with the yield starting from 3% up to 8% uh, with uh, some mid duration, um, but here I want to have the rating starting from triple B, so we'll have just investment rate. It would be more secure and uh, with a fixed rate starting from 4%. So uh, if you want to um, export the data in Excel, and then let's just visualize what kind of possibilities we have right here. Uh, so as you can see, Eurospace is now also um, already far from 2-3% uh, uh, as it was before. Uh, here you will be able to find some uh, more interesting opportunities. If you want to follow such query pretty often, just save your query and then you can see the updates on your uh, preferences. So maybe the new ones which match all your uh, criteria. Uh, let's compare two issuers and just see uh, Volkswagen and uh, Renault. Um, what kind of uh, two issuers can uh, give us in Europe? Uh, and if you want to limit just with the uh, liquid bonds, just put 1% one, uh, 1 yield. So uh, just according to the scale, as you can see at the top, we'll see um, just perpetual bonds. So these are the corresponding uh, two issuers in the same segment, uh, which are now uh, in 4 7% uh, space. So if you click on the dots, you will find uh, that particular bond and you will be able to study uh, all the data about this. So we operate as a data aggregator and here you can get all the data from primary sources at a single page. 
you can see the type of the one, the latest ratings, the um, current call option in case it is uh, available. You can use our calculator in order to calculate some parameters and we'll re uh, revert to this. Uh, the prospectuses, they have all the terms. So this is one of the most unique prospectus database. Uh, so now we are seeing the price dynamics for this bond uh, with a three-year scale. Uh, the yield is uh, pretty much high and the T-spread, as you can see here, we aggregate the pools from 350 pricing sources. These are stock exchanges and OTC market participants. So in green, you can see intraday pools from German stock exchanges. Uh, and I would say the most important thing is to analyze the price dynamics within years. So here we have the uh, historical depth for 5-10 years for corporates and for sovereigns it can be up to 30 years. So make sure that you are able to um, uh, retrieve all the parameters with the benchmarks, with the spreads and analyze how uh, this bond uh, is dynamic in terms of the price. Uh, you see all the cash flow, all the terms in terms of uh, the coupon, the call options, uh, the initial information about the placement, identifiers, um, uh, ratings uh, for uh, issuer, issue and SPV, the current and the historical one, of course, from Moody's Beach and the S&P and uh, from uh, some local around 70 rating agencies. You can see the list of institutional holders, it shows the appetite of the market as well. In case the company is public, you will see the financial reports and um, maybe some related entities there, connections between the companies, it is very interesting to see. We have at the issue page where you can uh, visualize their depth in different currency. In case the co a company is uh, uh, having stocks, so you can see the performance, uh, I would say, in, in full. You can see the debt breakdown in different currency. And of course, all the uh, multipliers, financial reports, in case the company is public. Um, so let's take a look at some sovereign bonds, which are now giving absolutely interesting yields. And especially, as you can see, there are some bonds which are tra were traded around 100, and now they are traded uh, at half price. Uh, although you see that the dynamics and the uh, volume of the liquidity is very nice. Um, these uh, opportunities are very interesting, even on the long-term side. This is one of the bonds from Austria, which uh, just recently found with the, our bond screener. It has a long, very uh, duration, but I would say it was started trading at 130, and now it's almost 40. Uh, just imagine what yields you can get afterwards while um, it will grow. So as you can see, there are so many uh, quotes from market participants and stock exchanges. So let's compare two ones uh, and see basically on the chart the difference between Austria and Italy uh, in green. Uh, so you can see there um, probably in, in uh, shorter duration the difference between the prices, the yields, and uh, you can see also the spread between two bonds. Uh, and switch to T spread. Um, our colleagues will uh, comment also some uh, work with the chat afterwards, but let's take a quick look on this part as well. So if you like the ones, you simply click on the star and we'll be able to add them into the watch list. Uh, you can receive notifications uh, automatically in terms of uh, uh, board payments, call options, changes of ratings, new financial statements, and my favorite is the price new triggers. So you can put your price um, and uh, make sure that you're buying at the very best price once it hits a certain uh, level. You're able to track not only bonds, but stocks and indices. Uh, let's take a look, for example, this sovereign um, index for C market. 
uh, it will just give us uh, some perspective how it, it is moving. So you can see below also the list of ones which are included in this index. Uh, it could be flexible, uh, actually, according to our parameters. And uh, in terms of efficient portfolio management, we recommend to use Excelodin because uh, it will give you the full freedom in order to make some additional calculations with the help of uh, not only our formulas, but also some Excel uh, capabilities. So you can uh, have self-updated files um, in, in your computer. So for example, this is the file which is made out of formulas. You can see that you can track bonds, stocks, uh, it's uh, just a part of formulas that you can use. So you can just uh, apply to the whole row and uh, then all the data will be updated automatically. Uh, as well, uh, we also have some uh, template files for indices. So we'll check today also sovereign trends for US, for uh, Europe. And that's how you can basically update all the data. So feel free to uh, ask, uh, we'll share our content details in the chat and um, make your bond market screening uh, in the most efficient way. Uh, thank you very much for, um, for listening. And now I would like to pass the floor to uh, Snežana Popovska. Uh, so um, Snežana has uh, unique skills in terms of technical analysis and uh, were very kind in order to share her own insights in terms of how it should be performed in the most um, efficient way. And of course, we'll make some uh, probably uh, a discussion in terms of outlook. Uh, so what we should expect uh, afterwards. Uh, so um, in case you will have some questions uh, to our speakers, feel free to leave them in the chat and we'll discuss the most interesting ones um, afterwards our, uh, after our discussion. So, Snežana, thank you so much for your patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm passing mm -hmm. the floor. Um, before we start, uh, I would like to say just a few words about the SIMT Association. We have established SIMT is the Regional Association for Technical Analysis. We have established the association this year. We are a member of the IFTA Association, and um, our goal is to improve, improve the investment decisions by investment professionals and to open career opportunities for our members. Uh, we are providing education and uh, training. Uh, we promote research and innovation. We are fostering a community of technical analysts, and we are advocating for the profession. Uh, I wouldn't go into details about the association. Uh, today, we're going to look at the charts and what uh, charts tell us about the opportunities and risks that lie ahead of the bond market. Uh, before we start doing uh, the presentation, I would like to, to add a disclaimer that all, all the all, everything that is in the presentation is only for informational purposes and educational purposes only. So you should always uh, have that, bear in mind that if you want to make any kind of investment decision that you should uh, have um, a consultation with your investment advisor or depend uh, or your uh, colleagues. Okay, uh, so uh, first uh, uh, I would like to point out a few points why and how can technical analysts uh, be a valuable tool and help investment professionals uh, in the bond market uh, to gain insights and to make informed and better uh, investment decisions. First, uh, by identifying price trends and patterns, uh, they can help make informed decisions uh, uh, about uh, buying and selling uh, uh, bonds based on the direction of the market. Uh, they can time their trades effectively uh, by analyzing historical price movements and patterns, and they can ident identify optimal entry and exit points. Uh, they can also ask, access the level of risk by analyzing the volatility and uh, uh, using investment tools so they can make informed decisions about the uh, risk management strategy. 
uh, they can gauge, gauge market uh, sentiment uh, and investment behavior uh, of the participants. Uh, and this can uh, tell them whether the market is in a bearish or in a bullish um, uh, in a bullish uh, trend. And uh, also uh, by identifying support and resistance levels, the market participants can uh, identify turning points on the market. So we, whether we are institutional or retail traders, we all, uh, uh, we all want to answer the same questions and that is where we are in the market. We want to know if this is a correction or reversal, is this the peak, how long it will go, is this the bottom? But <coughs> I'm sorry. before we answer this question, we all should know what is our time horizon. <coughs> so for any investor or trader, the time horizon is different. So the short-term trader, it can be minutes or um, hours, and the long-term investors is looking for months and years ahead. Without knowing the time frame, we cannot uh, make the right analysis. Uh, because according to the Dow theory, uh, we have primary, secondary, and minor trends, meaning that uh, the trend can be simultaneous, the trend can be in an upward and a downward direction based on the time frame that we are looking at. So unless we have all-time new highs or all-time new lows, uh, the, uh, depending on the time frame that we are watching, we're gonna have we're gonna have bullish and bearish uh, market outlook. So. Uh, this is very important. That's why I wanted to point out. Uh, and if, uh, uh, now I will start with the analysis. Uh, this is very interesting chart that I wanted to uh, share with you. Uh, this is a price chart of the UST note. Um, and uh, the price uh, goes back nearly 40 years. And we have drawn regression lines. So here we can see that uh, the bullish trend has been broken, meaning that uh, for the last four years, we, we were in a bull trend. And uh, the last uh, price is, is telling us that this trend is broken. So we should not avoid this uh, chart and meaning that uh, we can expect more lower prices on the US Treasury notes. If you look at the, um, if you look at the US, uh, if you look at the yield chart, we can see that we are still in a bullish trend. Before uh, explain my uh, before explain what we uh, how how we are seeing the the chart uh, for this purpose I was using cloud charts Ichimoku cloud charts, so uh, this is a Japanese technique and uh, it means uh, at one look uh, so no matter what time frame we are using the simple rule is that as long as the price is above the cloud we are in an uptrend and if the price is in is below the cloud we are in a downtrend so on each time frame we can use the same uh, the same approach and we don't have to do any adjustments. So here is the weekly chart of the 10 years US uh, yield. And uh, we can see that we are still in a bearish, in a bullish uh, trend. So the price has reached the target of 5% and it, this is a very psychological level. So I assume it will take times like we are, this is, we are speaking a chart for the next coming months and years. So probably it will take time to break it higher. But uh, as long as we are um, uh, we are above the cloud, we can still say that we are in a bearish in a bullish trend and that we can expect a higher yield. If we go on a lower time frame, uh, we're probably we're gonna see that the trend is uh, bearish, but uh, these are the levels to watch. So unless according to the Dow theory, unless we have high, we have lower low or and lower high, we cannot say that the trend has changed and that now we are in a bearish mode. So if uh, we start uh, with the European government bonds, uh, first uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the Euro 10 uh, year government bond. We can see that there is a high positive correlation between the bond markets. So uh, the, uh, more or less, the picture is the same everywhere. We are in a bullish month, um, uh, in a bullish trend on the weekly charts. And uh, but if we go on a lower time frame, we can see that on the daily uh, we have um, uh, we are in a bearish trend, and even on an hourly chart, we are in a bearish trend. So how we use the technical analysis. Uh, so uh, we see that, for instance, I use some kind of indicators because uh, we see that on the 
uh, daily chart we have uh, we the price made made some retracement but uh, wasn't able to make uh, a new higher uh, so it can stay in the uptrend and uh, using the uh, MACD indicator in this case uh, we can see that uh, there is a, the signal line is already giving us signal that uh, the trend is exhausted and that we can expect um, reversal on the on the short time frame we are also bearish so we can see that there are a lot of potential to the downside uh, to the downside but still if you are looking on the long term trend i would i would uh, say that the charts are still telling telling us that we are in a bullish mode and we can expect higher yields uh, so the yields we have the same situation on the long term on the uh, for the if you look on the weekly chart uh, meaning that we are looking uh, up front in the next coming months we can say that we are in a bullish mode Still, here I was using the RSI indicator just to see when we have turning points and how we can use uh, the, the, the negative divergence that is happening, meaning that here the, the price is losing uh, its strength and that it can uh, that it's, it's going to make a reversal. And uh, we can also see the same thing is happening on the Italy government bonds. More or less, the picture is the same. So now the question is how we should position ourselves so basically, we always say that trend is your friend, meaning that uh, we don't want to trade uh, counter the trends. So if we want to uh, position, I mean, that you know, currently that the market, uh, the charts are telling it, telling us that the market are sideways. So we would suggest to have a, a confirmation on the lower char chart uh, time frames. So we can uh, open a long position or to wait to see if the market with, will hold these uh, levels or if, uh, or it will make new low so it can uh, so we can change the position and we can start thinking about uh, that uh, maybe the, the, the interest yields will go in a lower territory. Basically, this is my uh, presentation for today. I didn't want to go into details. It like I try to keep it simple. The simple, the better. So, in order to have um, uh, uptrend, we need to see uh, new highs. And if the price uh, bill, if the price breaks below, we can change our position and we can think about uh, moving to lower uh, yields. Thank you very much, uh, Sinjana. Yeah. Thank you for the interesting approach, uh, how we need to analyze the charts as well, because this is a very important how you read it and uh, how you can uh, maybe predict uh, whether it goes up or down. Um, all right, then let's move to Alexei presentation and uh, afterwards uh, we'll check uh, if we have uh, some questions and we'll make some discussion. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, SEMT Association and Sibons for opportunity to to speak here because uh, I, uh, you know, I, what I would like to give to you now, of course, I, I cannot um, give you some particular ideas, uh, investment ones, but I would like to share with you very interesting approach regarding the calculations, the risks that will help you actually to, you know, to navigate through, uh, through, uh, you know, fast paced environment we have around us now. And, uh, you know, Exante and Sibons, I'm pretty sure can help you with, with, with this, uh, with this opportunity. So let's, let's try to, to think on, on some of them at least and uh, try to, to benefit from them if, if possible. So, I mean, I, I work in financial, financial markets for many years. Uh, I speak on some some events. I speak as a guest professor in uh, some universities. So now work in Exant as account director and help our um, our clients to you know to navigate and to hedge to you know to 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 buy and sell uh, um, some <clears throat> some stocks and euro bonds. So what I would like to you know to focus on is. Uh, four things actually. I, I will try to to, to be brief. Uh, so, uh, actually, rate surge now. Yes, uh, do we have problems or do we have opportunities? It's it's very you know uh, interesting interesting th uh, way to think because you know as as Lana absolutely correctly mentioned uh, in in her, her charts and uh, Snijana also mentioned that uh, you know when yields 
are higher, then the prices of the bond goes down. So we have better opportunity to buy it. Yeah, because we we would like all of us would like to buy when it's it's down. You know, at lower price, of course. So um, how how can we benefit on some local markets and um, maybe to cover a fixed risk immediately? Because sometimes we can see some opportunities on you know on uh, nearby markets. Uh, but we don't want to invest in particular uh, in particular um, bond due to only the fact that that it's denominated in another country in another cu- currency. So we can actually fix it immediately, and uh, we can benefit from from that also. Uh, I would like to share with you one case uh, on uh, on uh, local uh, on local funding plus cross currency swap that can can actually fix. Some interesting yields, and uh, you know, uh, again, pick up some fruitful opportunities. And I would like to share with you some outlook that that is based on on Refinitiv and or LSEG Group uh, data. Actually, that uh, helps to you know to understand maybe potentially understand where mar- where rates will be. So again, it's just just the outlook, and uh, we can discuss it further because it's slightly different from what the uh, previous speaker was was talking about but that's interesting i mean in in the discussion uh truth can emerge you know so let's uh let, let's move on so regarding the screeners uh so uh, um, uh lana absolutely ma- absolutely correctly mentioned the good screeners Sibons is having example is having uh also interesting one uh so it's 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 an example it's not uh, um, constructed in a way of you know showing some yield map exactly but still uh, we have uh, we have uh, many filters that can help you to navigate through you know ratings, maturity, currency, and uh, see um, and 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 have a look at the market where you, you can receive particular good coupons or good good yield to maturity. Uh, uh, I mean, from particular countries or you know uh, bonds. So uh, and actually, where Exante can be on top of on of all these you know screeners, where Exante can be very good at is at the particular execution. So when you found some bond and you would like to you know to benefit buying it at particular price, you can just you know click on the button and you will be there. So that that's where we can help. So if you would like, you know, to to explore this opportunity, you can. Uh, you, you, I, I'm pretty sure you will have my presentation, and you can ping me directly, and I can. Uh, but what I would like to focus on actually is Excel, and uh, actually, why why I'm talking about Excel when we are in in, in a world of new, you know new technologies, etc. Because you know, old good Excel can help you to be sure of everything when you try to calculate something in Exante, in in you know any other platforms. You, um, but uh, in order f- for you to be one hundred percent sure that you're absolutely right, and in order to calculate some more stuff, uh, you, you you might be using Excel. And I- again, if you would like to have these models, uh, I can share it with you directly. You just ping me afterward, and I can can send them to you. So what what I tried to mention here is the following: that let's suppose we have some bond. That uh, have yield have have a particular price at hand, so some clear clean price paid is ninety eight point five percent, and it has some maturity. Let's say it's six months from 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 now, yeah. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, first of all, you can very easily calculate yield to maturity. I mean, you can understand where uh, where coupon coupon will be paid. Uh, what will be discounted cash flow you can discount it at the yield to maturity yes and you can arrive to some figure um i mean which which uh, uh, so where, where you can can understand if you invested particular amount of the money and you will get discounted cash flow from i mean it, it will be the equal to it or not so that that's where yield to maturity is coming from that's how this uh, calculator uh, calculator is, should be set to zero by uh, if you know this function Excel goal seek you can very easily get that but what I would like to focus on is this small tiny part that is below risks analysis and uh, in in terms of DV01 so it's dollar value of one basis point of movement of yield curve so uh, if you will have this bond at hand yes it will be crucially to understand if the if uh, if the uh, rates we're talking about will go up or down 
say, I don't know, 1%. That's big amount, 100 basis points, but still. How much you will lose or gain if this will be the case? So basically, in our case, if, if the duration of the bond is very, is, is very small, it's kind of 0 0.5, yeah, half a year. Uh, and if the rates will go 1% up, um, so, so having that bond will, will result in minus 3.7K dollars. So, it, and this... This can be, you know, derived very easily from, from your own calculations. And moreover, actually, if you would embed here, as uh, uh, previous speakers told, uh, that, uh, for example, in C-bonds, we can, we can uh, embed uh, automatically, dynamically, the clean price for the bond into Excel, then you can easily recalculate the risks basing this uh basing this this excel file so i mean it, it can be uh, so you can achieve you know online recalculation of your position online risk assessment and this is very very important because if you if if your bonds are uh if your bonds are you know uh, have maturity of 10 years or 20 years this will become very crucial so in our case it's just 0.5 uh, I mean duration, yeah. But if duration will be twenty years, uh, the deviation in price of percentage movement, one hundred basis points, might be twenty thirty percent. It, it's huge and uh, it's it's crucial to understand it. So if 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 you would like to bear this risk, or if you would like to be exposed to that risk, yeah. Um, what I would like to share more uh, with you is the following. So it's an example from CIS. Uh, and actually, one of the biggest corporations uh, of one of CS countries actually was was making very interesting deals. I uh, I, I know that pretty pretty well, but I cannot cannot share with you the name. But uh, the example that they were doing in twenty fifteen, uh, when when markets were uh, had a disruption, is very spectacular because. Let's suppose that uh, you will stumble upon that in in European market, and uh, if you know about such an examples, you can you can you know benefit from that. So let's suppose that you are you know a financial director of a big corporation, and uh, you have credit lines in local currency, and you can you can uh, you, you know um, withdraw all of them and get uh, re relatively cheap funding. What you can do actually is you can do the following that. You can swap it immediately into uh, dollar or euro uh, 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 ray, dollar or, or euro funding via cross currency swaps, and then you can buy own your own euro bonds. So, so this case is actually the, uh, what does it mean? It means that if rates go substantially higher, so if markets are disrupted, and we can see now that. Uh, in recent half a year or year, uh, there are different uh, different examples where good bonds with good ratings in different countries in, in eurozone may be exposed to such a risk. But in our case, we can turn this risk to opportunity. So basically, if we can get cheap funding from local markets. Swap them in euro bonds, so we can finance this buying at relatively cheap. Uh, financing, but then we can we can actually buy uh, uh, good ones, but with bigger maturity, with bigger uh, yield to maturity. Uh, so in now in my case, it was like the funding itself in euro or dollars was zero or one point five percent, but um, company bought back its own euro bonds at six or nine uh, per annum uh, yield to maturity. So what does it mean? It means that if these bonds were uh, as long as four years or five years, they immediately after the rates gone back and they, they eventually gone back because you if, if you buy your own euro bonds, you cannot not pay to yourself. Yes, it's, it couldn't be the case. So they, 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 they earned 20 or 30 percent of no, of notional value i mean it's not just cheap uh, dollar funding but it's it's in reality arbitrage that can help you to you know to 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 earn a huge amount of money so for us i mean for for investors it, it again can 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 be the case when you can you know uh, ex you you can uh, benefit from several uh, several uh, market instruments. One is euro bond, and one is cross currency swap, and all together they can bring good results. And this is real, real chart of of this, 
uh, eurobond, this particular eurobond. So basically, this was the disruption left hand side, yes. And after the disruption, after market stabilized, companies started to buy back here uh, their own eurobonds. So and it it actually it soothes the the market. So basically. Here they they get cheap dollar and euro funding invested it in in six or eight uh, um, uh, yield to maturity bonds and of course when the rates get back to normal level you know they they just roll this 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 deal back so and they earn huge pile of money actually so and if we will try to look at this example in you know more common way of how to apply it. So basically, we can get uh, we can get our screener, yes. And what we should look at, not just should look at at the uh, at the currencies we would like to have in our portfolio, but maybe we should look a little bit broader and then make cross currency swaps into our functional currency, and then we can try to assess. Uh, the eventual yield to yield to maturity that will be nominated in our in in our currency, yes. So and how to do this actually? So I uh, I made uh, together with uh, actually with the help of of my, of my students, to be honest, uh, a very good Excel uh, example of how to swap a particular flow from one bond into into another currency. In which in this case it's it's into dollars. So. And um, how it works, it, it, it basically works like in previous example, but we have long flow of money. We discount it at, particular, at some particular rate, uh, discount rate, yes. And uh, we, you know, try to, to achieve the difference in flows to be zero. Uh, and the, 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 that's how Excel tries to help us to understand the, the, the rate for one of the, the leg of the swap. And actually, of course, we need to give it some, some, some inputs. We need to give some estimation table, basically, for LIBOR, for discount rate in one rate uh, in one currency, discount rate in another currency, and um, so and that's it, basically. And to the to the below of this Excel is actually we can make kind of sensitivity table that will help us to understand what will happen with our swap uh, if the rates will go up and down. You see, uh, and if 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 the, and if we would like to to look into into FX risk also. So what I would like to 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 say to you is that we can actually explore many opportunities on the market, uh, and we shouldn't be looking directly into only you know only currencies we uh, you, we we would like to have in our portfolio, but we can can we can look broader and try to swap those into 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 the ones we would like to have. So regarding the outlook, let's have a look at the at the slides. So I mean, they uh, sh should they, they are not requiring to my mind uh, any particular you know uh, thoughts behind. So that's uh, what 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 uh, you know uh, expectations for long term outlook basically is till second quarter of twenty twenty five is shown. Uh, so what I mean to say is that. Uh, it seems that after quarter one of 2024, rates should go down. To be honest, I'm not sure that will happen that fast. But you know, uh, that's 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 what uh, what, uh, what what many participants, market participants, uh, is showing to biggest vendors. I mean, in, in the world. So if we will look at the at the euro uh, at the euro, uh, you know rate yes it's almost same story but longer you know longer period of of um, uh, waiting till till the rates go down so i mean they should go down to my mind and if we can look uh, if we can look at uh, the another uh, at another split of how people from federal funds uh, think on where it's um, uh, the rate will be still you see that many participants think that in 2024 and 2025 2026 and longer the rates should go down so at least they they will start doing that in 2025 significantly i mean not just from slightly yes because we are somewhere here now and he, this figure it shows that maybe we'll go half percent lower who knows but again the expectations of 2025 
not not my uh, thoughts but uh, you know ideas from the market they, sh- they, they 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 show that that rates should go down for us if so if we would like to you know to make some investments uh, i mean it's uh, it's uh, so if the rates will show these dynamics uh, or these dynamics or these dynamics yeah it means that uh, that if we will have a portfolio of bonds these bonds will be revalued to the you know to more to to, to you know to to better prices because if yields go down you know the prices go up so um and um, that's basically that's basically it if you have any questions and if you would like to you know to um for me to send to you excel calculations i will be happy to so i just wanted to uh discuss with you probably um the uh, in order to make um, our uh seminar the uh, more complex so what kind of um your recommendations when our um uh, our uh, participants start to uh, invest in bonds or are they are already active. So what are the crucial points they should uh, take into consideration, especially uh, as of now, the current trends? So, uh, Sejana, what are your recommendations Whoa. in terms of uh, the analysis uh, of the bond they uh, would be picking uh, what kind of things are most crucial uh, to verify at the very beginning? Well, yes. Well, I would start with the risk management strategy because I believe that it's more important how not to lose money before you start earning money. So we are very in a very volatile uh, environment, and it's very hard to have the. I mean, our job is not to predict the market. We just need to see what the market is telling us, so we can. Um, uh, identify the trend and uh, just to be part of that trend. Uh, so uh, I would avoid any estimation or projections or uh, suggestions where the market can go because this is not our job. It's our job is to see what the market is telling us and to react accordingly what the market is telling us. So we have downside targets on the short and medium term on the government uh, bonds. And unless we see a uh, change that the, the, the trend is again moving uh, in the bullish territory, meaning to see the early signals on the day on the hourly and on the daily chart, we would I wouldn't suggest anybody to uh, open a long position on the uh on the uh long position and to buy bonds because uh, the prices can go even lower so it's just need we will we will have to do just need to see what the charts are telling us before making any decisions and to have proper risk management strategy thank you very much uh how long does it take to to understand the musty the technical analysis how do you provide this support I'm sorry. I want, to, I want to know more about the technical analysis. Uh, how how much time it will take me <laughs> to understand it? <laughs> well, it depends yeah. on the time dedicated for it. It takes time. I mean, um, uh, there is no like. Um, a golden formula that you can learn. Uh, I mean, when I speak about technical analysis, it's a profession. It's not about just learning a particular strategy, how you can employ it and may, uh, be successful in the market. So I think um, it takes time uh, to learn and to to learn your eye, to watch the charts and to get used to it, to know, to make a, uh, uh, to, to easily uh, uh, know what to see on the charts, how to identify the trends and uh, everything. So uh depends on the time that uh, anybody is willing to dedicate to spend for analyzing and learning all the technical tools that are out there. But it's an... Uh, uh, it's um, it's not uh, uh, any particular. I cannot say it, it, take, it can take you two or five years uh, because it's ongoing and learning process. I am still learning and implementing uh, new ideas about technical analysis. So it's like a lifetime. Uh, uh, it uh, for me, it's like a lifetime uh, learning process. I just wanted to have um, one, uh, my personal question before we uh, ask uh, Alexei also. So uh, as you probably noticed, I uh, found like two ones with the uh, big duration, like uh, Austria, for example, 2100 and something. 
Yeah, yeah. So they were traded like 130, and now they are traded around 40. So what do you think about um, the uh, how risky uh, to buy such uh, sovereign bonds? You mentioned also that. Uh, I mean, um, the difference between long-term, uh, mid-term bonds, it's more or less uh, clear for us. Like uh, 10 years, it's pretty uh, normal story. But when you are uh, considering bonds with a super long duration, what do you think? Uh, should we be um, careful with that? Or we need to catch the moment and buy them uh, while... Well, <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't say without seeing the chart, to be honest, because like uh, for our technician, uh, everything is on the chart and uh, in the price. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say anything because like we were before we were in a long period in a quantitative, quantitative reasoning period and uh, with low rates and nobody didn't expect that this could happen, right? So we cannot... So uh, from this point, we cannot can, cannot assume what will happen next in the next coming months or years. I mean, rates can go even more higher or maybe something will break and uh, the rates will go uh, to the previous levels. But um, unless we see the charts and what the market is telling us, we cannot uh, uh, make analysis and make any kind of uh, adjustments or uh, statements. Thank you so much. Alexei, maybe you could also comment what kind of things are the most crucial in terms of uh, your risk analysis approach, uh, especially now, what do you suggest to consider the very uh, first part and maybe some currencies that you suggest because uh, it was pretty interesting how you can uh, basically think about maybe some other um, currencies but then you can convert to your uh, currency, for example, euro, and then uh, adjust the yield uh, according to your strategy. Yeah, that's that's one of the points. So uh, my suggestion is to look wider at first, because again, we. Uh, so I, I mean, there are many ideas on the market, and uh, the main thing to point them out is to look broader, and uh, that's exactly the point. So you can look. At to other uh, countries' bonds, other currencies' bonds, and you can easily use on top of the euro bond. You can use cross currency swap to you know to bring the yield you will receive to your currency you would like to. Yes, and that's that's so so you and uh, because because in in my examples shown, I mean, so the uh, the company was operating in now in one country but in reality the currency of the euro bonds was different and uh, uh, the funding was done initial funding was done in in one country but uh, it was uh, invested into euro bonds in, that was denominated in another currency so what i mean to say and, and the the profits out of that was huge so it was 25 say 25 percent of the notional amount so I mean that was a that was big disruption in the market. That's true. But what I mean to say is that if you will just in normal times, if you will look at broader, you will pick pick, pick up through the screeners, through those Excel calculations, the best ideas for that will fit to you. And of course, you need to assess risks, like the assessment I shown to you as as GV zero one assessment, and you will easily understand if you think that rates might might go down or might go up what will happen with your portfolio i mean if you will tolerate it or not that's 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 the you know to my mind crucial idea how to to look at the at the investments yeah thank you very much colleagues for your time and thank you all the participants for joining us today i really hope that uh this seminar was pretty insightful for you in terms of conscious and uh well weighted investment decisions uh uh i would like to highlight that this uh, year is uh, really the the bond year and uh the um uh, each, uh, the there are so many market opportunities that we already mentioned so uh feel free to be bold feel free to um uh, find different investment ideas uh, not only in uh, 
um, geographical space. I mean, but also try to think globally, but maybe within the currency you are interested in or the issues you are interested in, but try to be very careful. And we have all the tools in order to make uh, um, this process uh, well and rationalized uh, in terms of... Uh, risk analysis so uh thank you very much for your time uh thank you for your interest uh we would be happy to share the uh presentations of our speakers afterwards uh, and feel free to contact them for uh, de uh detailed uh, maybe discussion uh so they could share their own views how they uh analyze the market um in the most professional way they are uh experts in it and thank you very much for joining cbots uh, today we would be happy to offer you one week trial access so you could explore uh what are the market opportunities right now to study uh what are the bonds and basically uh, uh, monitor your portfolio. Uh, for now, thank you so much and um, see you probably at our next event. I really hope it's not the, the last one, so <laughs> probably it would be ready in the next year, I hope, because uh, well, it's already December. Who, who could really believe it? Is? <laughs> All right, thank you so much and uh, wishing you a wonderful week ahead.